Hi, my name is Jamie Claret and I'm one of the owners of an IT support company called Amazing Support. We do managed services and of course IT support. Um, no doubt you've heard um, or are watching the current news unfold on the NHS and the crypto locker virus that they've received. Um, and this is something that I talk to my clients about on a daily basis. Um, this is a very real problem. Uh, what usually happens is someone will receive an email. That email will have an attachment. Someone will click that attachment. It will open a little program in the background. They won't even know that anything's happened. Um, and that program will look across the network, your whole network, and it will look for all the computers that have the most amount of access to the most amount of data. Once it finds those computers, it will then um, use the, the system that it has to, uh, to encrypt the data and then make that data totally un, uh, unusable. Uh, when that happens, you have a number of options. You have the option of paying the, uh, the hackers to unencrypt your data, which they will do, but you're going to have to pay for it. Or you can go to a backup um, and get your data back from uh, the day before or, or the last time that you backed up. Um, I wouldn't advise paying the hackers to get your data back because then they have your credit card details and then they no doubt will use that for uh, very, not very pleasant uh, uses. So what can you do? Uh, this is a very real threat. There are some really simple things that you can do if you have an old version of Windows, uh, which unfortunately a lot of the NHS do have, for such as Windows XP, as soon as you can upgrade to the newer versions of Windows because that in itself will give you better protection. Make sure if whatever version of Windows that you're on that is up to date, you've got automatic updates switched on or whoever is your IT provider is managing that for you to make sure um, that they're up to date. So first piece of advice if you're a business, go and ask your IT company if they can show you that your computers are all up to date. The second thing that you can do is put mail filtering in place. That is a filter so that when your email comes from the sender, it doesn't go straight into your inbox. It gets passed through um, a mail filter, a bit like an antivirus, that will protect that mail and, and get rid of any of the obvious nasties, spam, viruses, uh, malware, that type of thing. Again, speak to your IT company, ask them if they're doing that for you. And again, ask them to show you um, what they're doing and, and how much they've done. The third thing that you need to do is antivirus. Um, it, it goes without saying you must have antivirus, but make sure that your antivirus is up to date, make sure it's the latest version, make sure it hasn't expired, make sure you're scanning on a regular basis. Um, and the same goes for malware. So there's programs like Malware Bytes that you can download for free and scan your machine and do that on a regular basis. At the minimum, it should be every week that you should be doing antivirus and malware scans. Um, again, any decent IT company will be doing this for you, so they shouldn't be expecting you to do it. They should be doing that for you and reporting back to you as to how those scans have run and if there's been anything um, picked up during those scans. And then the final thing that you need to do um, is have some kind of web filtering. Often the, um, the emails that you get and the, uh, the, the ways that hackers work is they'll try to get you to click on a link that will take you to a web page um, which will do something called a drive-by hack. So you won't think anything's happened, but the website has downloaded a malicious piece of software onto your computer, which then goes through that process of scanning the network and looking for, uh, looking for access. So if you can do all those things, um, it puts you in a much, much better position. Again, things like Microsoft Office, making sure you're running the latest version. Um, and this applies also to Macs as well. It's not just Windows anymore. Macs can have just the same problems. Um, so go through all those things and make sure that, uh, that you're protected. If you're really worried about it and you've got an office with all the computers and servers, um, during this weekend, maybe consider turning them off um, or unplugging them from the network because this is not just hitting the NHS. As my, my understanding at this moment in time, which is Friday evening at about seven o'clock, um, about 40 trusts in the UK have been attacked, but I've also heard now that FedEx um, in the US, who are just waking up, um, have, have been advised to shut down all of their computers to prevent any problems. Um, tell all your staff, don't open any emails with attachments um, unless they know the sender and know the attachment. In fact, I would probably say over the weekend, don't open any attachments in any case, because it's just better to be safe than sorry. Um, it goes without saying, we're an IT company. You can always contact us, go visit our website, it's www.amazingsupport.co.uk um, and we'll be happy to help. We can do security audits, we can check your systems, we can do disaster recovery and business continuity reviews. So if you do have something like this and your IT company says, well, revert to backup, well, does your backup work? Have you checked it? Do they check it for you? Um, have you ever tried getting data back from your backup? These are all really, really important questions. 
Um, I'm sure they're doing that for you. I'm sure they're checking that for you. If not, ask them. And if you don't know the reply, maybe get in touch with us. Okay, so it's Jamie from Amazing Support. The website's www.amazingsupport.co.uk and hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you.